Sparrow at the 2017 Ottawa Marathon. Top Canadian here. Uh, tough day. Pretty uh, pretty hot out there. How uh, how are you feeling uh, about I'm, a 224? I'm, I'm good. Uh, I, not my best right now, but uh, the the conditions were not bad. There's, there was no wind, and it was pretty cool at, at the beginning. There was eight on the last ten k's, but uh, we made it through. So I'm re I'm really happy to have been uh, below 225 today. Is this a breakthrough performance? Uh, how many marathons have you done in the past? Uh, I think it's my eighth or ninth marathon, and uh, it's my personal best today yet. So. Kimbo was also in the race there. I know he's uh, you both. Both of you are from Quebec. Yeah. Uh, did you see him at all in the race? Did you kind of know uh, uh, trade off as the top Canadian at any point? Yeah. You mean uh, Kimbo Jado? Yeah, Kimbo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I uh, took him at uh, I think at the uh, 18 kilometer or something like that. So he was in front of me, and then I reached him, and uh, I just passed it through. But uh, he's a really good runner, so uh, I'm I'm proud to uh, to finish first uh, today. Yeah. What part of the race was particularly difficult for you, or, or at what point did you kind of persevere and uh, push through the pain? Uh, I would say uh, at the 30, uh, 30 kilometer, uh, the heat comes up, and uh, I was pretty flat at this point, so I had to push it up, and uh, I think I was like 319 uh, per kilometer, uh, and then I, I went to 338 or something like that, so I was really going down, and I've been able to come back and uh, bring it back to to 328 or something like that. What was the last 100 meters like seeing the finish line, seeing they, they took the tape out for you, you got the flag around, uh, oh, yeah. around your back? Oh yeah, no, it's really amazing. Uh, the last uh, meters were uh, really uh, emotional for me. Yeah. Awesome, well thanks a lot, Nicholas. Yeah, thank you.